You find it? You find it? Not in there? Is it inside a car? No, it's in the back. Uh, Leah will know where it is, maybe. Oh, maybe it's in this sled. I think it's in this sled. Let me look. My name is Dean Osmar, 1984 Iditarod Run Champ. I've been doing this uh, professional dog sled mushing for 39 years. And actually, even before that, when we were children, we lived on a homestead and we had uh, sled dogs for trap line or for hauling in firewood. And when we were just little kids, helping my father uh, on the homestead. In the summertime, about May 15th, for about four months, we do commercial fishing for salmon. We have set net locations by the Kasilov River, and it's the family-owned uh, set net site. I've been doing that since I was a kid, and uh, that's how we can afford to do this dog mushing madness. You're a little scared. This one's name is Nin Van. She's about seven and a half years old. Been the home four times. A really good leader. She's a sweetie. And this is Stormy. This is another real good leader. He's eight and a half. He's been to Nome uh, four times, five times, made it four times. He's a really good lead dog. This is McKinley. He's a four-year-old. He's been to Nome two times. He's a, a team dog. And this is his brother, Denali, lead dog. Been to Nome one time. He's another four-year-old. Litter mate. This is Mekong. This guy's a super leader. He's, he's named after the Vietnam litter. Mekong, like the Mekong River. He's about seven and a half, but I've been to Nome four times. And this is the youngest guy in the team. His name is Badger. He's just under two years old. He's another real, real phenom. He's a really great little young dog. He's the lead dog. He's going to try to make it this year. This one, the blue-eyed devil dog, this is Ermin. She's a, about a six or seven year old. Been to Nome four times. Real solid dog. She won't leave. <laughs> Close, then she's a good leader the last couple days of the race. She knows where Nome is. And this is Koyuk. He's a six year old lead dog. Probably one of the main dogs on the team. He'll probably start in lead the first day of the race. We have a lot of leaders, about 10 of them, so we can alternate leaders. That's my friend Steve Watkins that'll be running the team to Nome this year. Here we got Rebel. He's a three year old. Went to Nome last year for his first time. Real super dog. And this is Lobo. He went to Nome last year with Anna Barrington, or Christy Barrington. Real nice young lead dog. One of the main guys. In 1982 I ran my first Iditarod race, came in 13th. I sat out one year and just did training and basically had the same team so in 1984 I was uh, fortunate enough to win the race. Uh, I do about three or four races a year. I think I've done a total races in my life, not Iditarod, but total races about 135 and I've come in first in 32 of them so I've been pretty lucky to to have a good fast team. I've only done the Iditarod uh, two times actually. After I was obsessed with it and I got lucky and won it on my second try and I sort of got it out of my system. Mm -hmm. It started with my first race in 1982. Uh, I had a lot of two and a half year old, three year old young dogs and some, and some year and a half old ones. And I knew I couldn't win it but I pushed really hard the first few days and I got out toward the front and uh, I was able to stay toward the front for most of the race, although I would leave a checkpoint and the good mushers like Rick Swenston and Susan Butcher would give me about an hour and then they would take off after me. And I was known as the trail breaker or the rabbit because they knew they would catch me. But I thought maybe if I could get ahead of them and maybe get some weather in between us, a storm or, or something that I'd have a chance to win it, but uh, it, it wasn't to be the case. So anyway, I, yeah, and, and because I came in 13th that first year, I faded the last couple of days. Two years later, people weren't too worried about me. So when I got off to a big lead in 1984, the year I won the race, uh, the top mushers still weren't very worried about me. They were more worried about Rick Swenson, the four-time winner. <clears throat> so a lot of them were keying on Rick and uh, just letting me go. And pretty soon I was five hours ahead and then six hours ahead and then nine hours ahead, which is almost insurmountable. And uh, the last three days I lost most of that lead because I got lost several times. The trail wasn't marked very good in those days. But I was able to hold on for the, for the win, so it was uh, actually about a four-year project, I guess. If, if you're really a novice just starting out, get some good breeding. Go to one of the top mushers and, and you know, buy a, a bred female maybe or, or three or four pretty good young dogs and, and to build up your own kennel. And just spend a lot of time with them, all the time you can afford to spend with them. 
camping with them, uh, running them, playing with them, brushing them, uh, feeding them, picking up dog, do all the chores, get to know them good. And then don't be afraid to go out into a storm or gain their trust. So if you get on the dead run race or even any other long race, that uh, they will trust you and they know you're not going to lead them astray, that you're going to show them the right way to get to, to the next checkpoint or the finish line. Ha, ha, ha. Too late. 